Hello everyone, I'm Faye Donald. Welcome to our series on guided biofilm therapy. Today we will talk about the importance of the correct technique when using the PAs on PS instrument during GBT. Correct technique has a huge impact on efficiency, on patient comfort and on subsequently recall during GBT. Correct water flow, power setting, adaptation of the PAs on PS to the tooth, angulation of the instrument, using the right amount of pressure, and finally, the movement when working all play an important role. When using the PAs on PS, always work with the water between 70 and 100%. Unless particularly needed, use the power on a lower setting. You don't usually need it as high as the water. Start low and increase as necessary. Only ever use the lateral sides of the instrument when removing calculus. This ensures the correct linear movement, which dictates efficiency and also patient comfort. The last two millimetres of the PAs on PS instrument is the most active part, so always angle the instrument so that only the last two millimetres is in contact with the tooth. As you work around the contours of each tooth, adapt the angle of the instrument as you go, so that only the lateral sides of it ever make contact. Stay aligned with the surface of the tooth at all times. Don't use any pressure or very minimal pressure while working with PAs on PS. This is very important because applying pressure will contribute to a decrease in efficiency as the instrument will stop working properly. Make small side to side stroking movements as you enter the periodontal pocket to gently shave down the calculus whilst maintaining optimal tactile sensation. We must work with minimal or no noise at all. The sound shouldn't increase when the instrument touches the surface of the tooth. It should sound just the same as it does when not in contact at all. No increase in noise is one of the best indicators that the correct technique is being used. And that's it for today's episode of Guided Biofilm Therapy. Thank you for listening.